which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Barachah means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And uh, Lord willing, is going to be a quick little hit. You know, Apostle Ramlob just uh, uh, ended his live show and he mentioned, well, Apostle Bar mentioned it on the comment board and Apostle Ramlob pretty much expounded on it a little bit about how Yahweh Shah was more hated than he was loved. And that th those that Yahweh Shah has been formed within, they're going to be more hated than loved. And just spirit hopped on me, you know, so this is uh, St. John 15. I'm going to start at 18. It says, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. And it goes back to St. John 7 and 7. It says, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So Paul spoke about this present evil world, man. It speaks about that those love the Lord, uh, uh, they hate all abomination. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. So we're going to speak against these things as is written in Ezekiel 9. You know, it speaks about all the abominations done in the midst of those that sign and cry, you know. The Lord said, who will go for me, man? Who will stand me against the, uh, the workers of iniquity? Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. In the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, it, 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 here, here am I, Lord, send me, you know? So to Wadi Ha'obah Sham Yahushua for putting his spirit upon men to go out and proclaim righteousness throughout this earth. This is back in St. John 15 and 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. You see? So that's why these people hate us, man. They, they ultimately, they hate Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. They hate, they hate the things that we're speaking. They hate the words that, that, that's coming out of our mouth. This is verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also, you see. So uh, 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 those that, that hated Yahweh Shah back then, they're going to hate hate us today. Those that kept Yahweh Shah sayings back then, they're going to keep our sayings today because our sayings is the sayings of the Holy Scriptures, man. It says, um, verse twenty one. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not Him that sent me. You see, they don't know the Heavenly Father. Verse twenty two. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. And that's at the Isaiah 58 chapter, man. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So now nobody has a, a, an excuse. And when the Lord cracked those clouds, man, hey, guess what? Oh, Lord, I didn't know this. Oh, Lord, I didn't. No, no, you knew. Matter of fact, you spoke against my messenger. You spoke against my men that he, uh, that I sent. Matter of fact, you said you hated my men that I uh, that I sent. And you don't even know these men, never met these men, but yet you say you hate these men. Ultimately, you hate the spirit that's within us, and that's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You see, it says, I'm gonna read 22 again. This Saint John 15 and 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father. Also, that's what hey, Yahweh I said. You don't hate me. You hate him that sent me. So it all goes back to the heavenly father. You people hate the heavenly father, man. As it is written in Amos 5 and 10. Matter of fact, I grabbed that real quick. This is the book of Amos chapter 5, verse 10. It says, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, man. Because ultimately, man, hey, hey, a lot of these guys in these other camps, a lot of these guys on the common board talking shit against Great Millstone, it's ultimately you mad because the Lord didn't choose you. The Lord didn't put the spirit upon you. You see the spirit rested upon us, man, starting with uh, our apostles and elders. You see? And ultimately, you're mad at the Most High because the Most High didn't put the spirit upon you guys, man. I'm going to read this again. It's Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. The same thing that's written... Uh, that's written, um, Salakia. It's written in the book of uh, uh, Second Ezra 16. See if I can find that real quick. This is the, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16. And 
verse 49. It says, like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman. You see, us here at Great Millstone, we're that right, honest, and virtuous woman. And all those guys that's not following the correct doctrine, you're that whore. And you're looking at us with envy. It says, like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity. You see, that's the zeal, man. What did Elijah say uh, when he cried out to the Lord? He said, Lord, uh, I am the only prophet left. They have slain thy prophets, man. And he said, I have been very jealous for Yahweh Basham Yahweh's sake, man. Why? Because they are worshiping other uh, uh, gods, man. They're calling on, on, on these idols. You see? And it's the same thing here today, man. The zeal of thy house have eaten me up. That's that's that, that, that what Yahweh Shah said. So we're coming in that same spirit, man. It's to hate all abomination, man. And the worship of idols, the name, the, the name of the, the, these goddamn false idols, man, is an abomination. You see? It says, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out every sin upon earth, man. You see? So let's go back. Back to... uh. St. John 15, St. John 15, back in uh, verse 23, uh, uh, it says, he that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father, man. Because Yahweh Shah said what? He that seeth me have seen the father. So likewise, starting with the apostles and elders, they that seeth us, seeth Yahweh Shai, man. So when you see us and say you hate us, is ultimately you're saying you hate Yahweh Shai. And when you say you hate Yahweh Shai, it's ultimately saying you hate the Heavenly Father, man. It's verse 25. It says, but this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. You see? So we're following uh, in those same footsteps as we as we read. The servant is not greater than his Lord. You ask these guys, why do you hate GMS? Oh, uh, 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 uh. You know? It says, but when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the father, he shall testify of me and ye shall all and ye also shall bear witness because ye have been with me from the beginning so it's the holy spirit within us man you know that's bearing that's allowing us to bear witness so let's get uh, uh this is psalms 35 and uh i'm gonna start at verse 17 it says lord how long wilt thou look on rescue my soul from their destructions my darling from the lions I will give thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much, much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land, man. Seeking peace is what, man? Hey, hey, what we're doing through the spirit. It says, blessed are the peacemakers. You see, we're out here to do what? To, uh, uh, to turn you away from your iniquities, man. As it is written in the book of Jeremiah, also in the book of Isaiah, it says that your iniquities, that your sins have withholded good things from you. So what do the prophets, what is, what is the prophet's job? Jeremiah 44 and 4. Oh, do not as this abominable thing that I hate. So our job is to go out and rebuke in the gate and to tell you, to, hey, don't do these things, man, to repent and come back to the Lord. And guess what? They hate us for it, man, which is all beautiful as prophecy because they hated Yahweh Shah for it. So we in good company, you know? which is a beautiful thing. This is the book of Psalms 69. I'm going to start at one. It says a Psalm of David, save me, O power, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I, I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. And it's talking about uh, uh, what these people, these armies, man, all these uh, um, workers of iniquity that's surrounding us. Speci more, more, more specifically, our people, but the, the rest of these heathens too. But more specifically, what we're talking about right now is our people, man. How they hate us without a cause, you know. And through the Spirit, King David is is is, is we, see because we represent Yahweh Shai. We are our Yahweh Shai in body, you know. 
So the, the different things that we're going through, Yahweh Shah went through, it says that uh, uh, he wasn't in the book of Hebrews. I'm going I'm, to I'm butcher it. But it says that uh, 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 he was uh, tempted at all points, yet without sin. Everything that we went through, he's going through. You know, and what King David is speaking about within the Psalms is actually a prophecy of what uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah went through. It says, I sink in deep Maya where there is no standing. I am coming to deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my power. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head, man. You see? But it's a beautiful thing, man, as it is written when uh, 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 it's another Psalms. It says that when, when, when my father and my mother forsake me, Yahweh Basham Yahusha is there for me, man. He said he will never, uh, never leave or forsake us, you know? So we got to stand firm uh, within the faith, man. We got to believe that we're doing the right thing in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahusha. We're pleasing him, not the eyes of these fuckers out here, man. Excuse my French. It says, they that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O power, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord, power of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O power of Israel. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame have covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen upon me. You see, when I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. It's the same thing with us, man. We're falling in, 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 in that same stead. It says we are ambassadors for Yahweh Shah in Yahweh Shah's stead. Be ye reconciled to the Most High. So the same thing Yahweh Shah came to do, we're following that suit, man. And guess what? Guys hated him for it, and they're going to hate us for it as well. It says, verse 12, they that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards, right? Because they drunk with philosophy, man. Look at all these guys, man, they, they talking crazy against us, you know? Here it is uh, uh, about five, six years ago. Uh, the apostles brought out the Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter, man. You know, that the whole thing with polite, I believe it was six, six years ago, you know. Whole uproar. Nate got a whole video out talking about a, a, a corrective rape. If a woman is a lesbian, you can you you can you can rape. No, nobody's saying nothing against that, though. And that's nowhere in the law. Correct. Hey, if a woman, a woman that lay down with a, a woman is an abomination and she should be put to death. <laughs> what law says you got to rape her to get her right? You see? But it shows you that hey, hey, us, we have the spirit of Yahweh Shah, starting with the apostles, man. These guys will say the same thing and nobody, uh, men to commend them as it says in, in the book of Sirach. They speak things worthy uh, 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 to be punished. They speak things not ought to be spoken, but yet guys justify them. But when the poor man, when we speak it right, men shame us, man. But it's cool, though, you know, call hello, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It's all to the glory of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It says, verse 12, they that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, in an acceptable time, O power, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let, let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. Thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. You know, it says they gave me also gall for my meat. And in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. So this is, it's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. 
Verse 22, let their table become a snare before them and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. And that's talking about two thirds of our people, man. You know, but we're praying to Yahweh Basham Yahweh that he remember our works, man, as Nehemiah prayed, you know, Lord, remember the things that I have done for thy name's sake. Remember uh, uh, how, how, how I suffered reproach and how I stood stiffly for thy name, you know. So we got to continue the course and stay strong and, 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 and hey, follow the example that's set before us, you know. So the water to you, brothers, for tuning in, man. The Lord willing, I hope that was edifying. We give uh, I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baracha HaKwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, brothers. Shalom.